Welcome to you all on behalf of the Ministry of Agriculture and uh, I'm very delighted uh, that I can host today's uh, event which aims to further develop common research needs and uh, present some good practices of the Central and Eastern European macro region. Well, the subject is particularly important for me because I believe that in order to achieve further progress in sustainable growth of agriculture, aquaculture and forestry as well, in the bioeconomy, we have to shift the emphasis to research, innovation and transnational cooperation for knowledge-based development. And uh, I'm convinced that research, development and uh, innovation can only operate successfully if it's supported by well-established relations and network. I consider it a success in itself that there are approximately 120 participants here today from seven countries, experts from research institutes, universities, science academies, agriculture and science ministries, who are ambitious to work together in order to strengthen our macro region's research performance. The Central and uh, Eastern European macro region faces specific challenges due to the continental climate on one hand. These regions, which cover most of Eastern Central and Southeastern Europe, are likely to be very sensitive to the impacts of climate change with agriculture, forestry and freshwater aquaculture being particularly severely affected. On the other hand, Due to the specific policy and governance challenges of in this macro region, as most of the Bio East macro region is composed of post socialist economies that are still undergoing transition in the last decades. These economies continue to face unique challenges, for example, in increasing consumer awareness, one hand, or motivating knowledge based modern farming and cooperation between farmers. Bio East was initiated over a year ago to help our macro region to overcome these specific challenges. In our joint work, we apply a true multi-stakeholder approach with a close cooperation between the agricultural ministries, the research institutes and the chambers of agriculture in our region. We are grateful for the 28 organizations already supporting it from the Central and the Eastern European macro region. The BioEast initiative already took a lot of action, organized successful multi-stakeholder events over the last year at national level to identify a region specific topics and challenges. It aimed to establish a multi-stakeholder network in, to increase the visibility of this macro region concerning our specific research topics and potential and to develop our competencies and strategies which can increase our participation in Horizon 2020 projects in the future. The common declaration of the agricultural ministers of Visegrad Group in Bulgaria, Romania and Slovenia that was signed during the meeting of uh, agricultural ministers on uh, 26 October 2016 in Warsaw showed that the stronger inclusion of the research potential of the Central and Eastern European countries into the implementation of projects within the Horizon 2020 in the field of agriculture, including the bioeconomy, is on high priority in our macro region. Cooperation between member states on political and expert level shall ensure that research development and innovation gives a base for the development and sustainability of the EU, agriculture in particular. We are here together to strengthen our collaboration and to discuss how and in which particular fields we should deepen our common work. This event is also a clear indication that the future of our region is a very important question for all of us, a possibility that we believe in a challenge that we would like to talk about with each other. In your welcome package, you find a booklet which presents the agricultural research institutes of the Visegrad four countries 
focusing on bioeconomy. This booklet serves this purpose by aiming to increase the visibility of research capacity and potential in the field of agriculture, forestry, and aquaculture in the bioeconomy in all countries. The booklet is also an invitation to other countries to join the dialogue and discussion on the steps we have to take towards a more coordinated use of our regional resources. I thank all of you coming to the Budapest. I hope that this event is a start due to this kind of expert meetings and workshop and give a very good framework for the next months and the next year's work. And uh, finally, I would like to thank to my colleagues to organize this meeting and help us edit this booklet. So I wish you and ourselves a very good discussion and uh, hope that uh, this event have and get ourselves a very valuable network building uh, event this day. Thank you very much for your kind attention.